Hello everyone, welcome to another video. Now I'm gonna show you again a wonderful software by company Tenorshare. Just type tenorshare.com in your browser and it will bring you to amazing stuff that this company produces. Now I'm gonna focus on the reboot software, both for Mac and, and Windows. It's number one iPhone recovery tool. So it provides you one click access, enter exit recovery mode, repairs many uh, issues on iOS, uh, Apple OS system, downgrades to 14 beta. You can download it freely and both for Mac and for Windows. Now go ahead and test it. You have the link below and I hope you will enjoy it as much as I do. I'm using it regularly to jailbreak my devices, which I'm going to show in one of my upcoming videos. And the best feature is exactly this one click entering and exiting the recovery mode. So Tenorshare Rayboot number one iPhone recovery tool. Hello, hello everyone. Welcome to my new video. We didn't do too many videos recently. That's due to the lack of tweaks, to be honest. And But hopefully today is going to be different and you will find these 10 tweaks of today very interesting because I do. Additionally to these 10 tweaks, we have a very cool, very awesome theme for today. It's called Oxygen and a big shout out to the developer who was kind enough to share it with me. I'm going to use it as the default background in this video. So the first tweak that I'm going to talk about is called Dark Manage. Now Dark Manage tweak does only one thing. So it uh, lets you choose which apps you want to be constantly dark or constantly light. So you can select any app that you want to be constantly dark. For example, I've selected Instagram. So even though it's a, a daytime, you can actually you can actually see that it's the, the whole app is still dark. So this is number one. This is dark manage. Tweak number two is a pay tweak called double bar two. Uh, sorry, double bar plus and double bar plus actually gives you this option that you have your uh, tabs in your uh, Safari constantly, you know, visible. So it's like an uh, like the situation you have on your iPad. So if you prefer th stuff like this, then double bar plus is a great, great tweak. Tweak number three. This one I really like. It's called explosive icons. Now explosive icons. Uh, they what they do the, it's self-explanatory as you can see I have some games I'm gonna delete this game I just installed it for the purposes of this video when I delete it okay there is an animation as you can see so it's just disappeared disappears or you know explodes on your screen like this so it's pretty neat tweak pretty pretty cool looking tweak the following one is called grabby now, in order to show you this tweak, uh, let me go into the settings and grab a tweak. What it does, it gives you this grabber visible while you play your games or you play any or you're watching uh, videos or you're doing something in, for example, in the landscape mode. So in the landscape mode, you cannot see the time or, you know, this thing. But with this tweak, you can actually see the temperature and you can see the time. However, there is a small bug because it's clashing with, with this grabber uh, arrow or what is there. So it's not really working 100% uh, you know, uh, accurate and nice. But you know, if you prefer these things to have this there for you, you can, do, you can install it. Now Grab is not a free tweak, it's $1. And I want to uh, send a shout out to the developer who actually gave me this tweak to show. And you can select uh, between small, medium or large grabber in your uh, in your apps or you can even customize the colors uh, etc so this is pretty neat tweak the next tweak is called lisa it's a free tweak and it customizes your notifications and it customizes your lock screen when you receive the notifications so you can customize many things you can activate it only when do not disturb is active only when notifications arrive and play music, all sorts, all sorts of things. And for example, I've hidden everything. Uh, so when my notification pops out, it just shows notification, doesn't show anything around it. Now I cannot receive any notification, but we can see what is the test banner like. 
So you see, it's like a pretty old school notification tweak, and I'm gonna show you the, uh, one of the upcoming tweaks that does something, something similar. So this is Lisa. The next week is called uh, Lobelius, 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 not sure how you pronounce it. So this one customizes your uh, music player. So when you play your music, you can customize the background of the player, you can customize the artwork, you can move it up and down, you can customize the song title and the position of the song title and the font size, many things. I haven't customized many things now, but I'm just gonna show you how your lock screen will look like once you once you start your music right so when you lock it you see this is very minimalistic very cool looking uh, tweak for your for your uh, music player the next tweak is pretty cool it's called lyricify it's a paid tweak an amazing one which gives you this little option here that you can access the lyrics of the currently playing song on your lock screen and uh, the background takes the color of the artwork so it's pretty useful pretty cool tweak and let me show you the uh, settings it's lyricify tweak settings so you can enable it you can have a double tap mode if you don't want that icon visible or you can have a black a blackout mode and you can also save the lyrics offline the next one is also a free tweak very useful tweak called mirror selfie although in Cydia it shows that it does not support above 13.4.1 it supports it, so I've tested it. I'm not gonna show you now how it works, but the only thing that Twig does is that when you take a selfie, the, the image is not uh, reversed. So that's the main thing. So I've tested it on, on myself. So when I did this, the pen stayed at the same position on the right-hand side, so it didn't switch. So this is the only thing that this Twig does, and very useful one, I, I might add. The next one doesn't have the settings, but it's kind of straightforward and based on the name you can guess, it's called No Frequent Emoji. Now, No Frequent Emoji, when you go and tap on the Emojis button, you don't have those frequently used emojis here, so it doesn't work. So you can remove it if you really don't need it, and you can just always have enabled all the emojis, you know, as they are. And the last, but not least, uh, again, free tweak similar to Lisa is notification alerts. So notification alerts, they do the same thing as Lisa does, as I shown before, and they just bring you the old school notification uh, across the whole screen as it used to be in iOS 3, iOS 4, or any other, you know, uh, early iOS. So let me send a message to myself so this is what it does. So it just brings back the old school notifications across the whole thing. It's not very useful by the way, but it kind of, you know, brings up nostalgia. So thank you guys for watching my video. And again, this is Oxygen theme. If you want to go ahead and grab it, it's a very cool theme. Thank you developer who uh, made this possible. And that's it guys. See you in the next one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.